Right now, as I record this video, there are thousands of people in major cities around the world protesting the killing of George Floyd, many chanting, I can't breathe and Black Lives Matter. And you know what? I applaud the peaceful protesters. I think, as we've stated many times, everybody's in agreement. This dude was killed. It should not have happened. Support for Black Lives Matter is through the roof. However, there are some people who are unhinged and we need to talk about it. Because while we can bring up the, I'm I'm doing this on purpose, mind you, I'm showing you the peaceful protests across three continents with all of these peaceful people on purpose because of the title of this video, which you likely, you know, you you clicked it because you want to see what's going on. Two Ohio men arrested for driving to New York's George Floyd protests with a car full of knives, bricks, and gas canisters as chaos spread across the city. Now, I can't definitively confirm, but I believe it is extremely likely that this at least one of these men was a Black Lives Matter activist. He is white, and he very likely was wanting chaos and destruction. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be very careful here because they haven't confirmed in this story that this guy was a Black Lives Matter activist. But they show us, I want to show you the photo they have. This guy, these two guys, we can see a machete, knives, some kind of uh, a, a brick with a shoelace or something through it gasoline rope. I believe I found this individual. The story doesn't confirm anything about why, you know, what what group he was with or what he was doing. But there's been a narrative going around that the Boogaloo boys are trying to incite violence. Well, no, I don't believe that in this case, that's that's what we're seeing. I believe we're seeing far left radicalization. I'm reticent to say Antifa based on what I've learned about this guy, but I believe I found this individual, did a quick background check, and I believe this is absolutely motivated by anti-police rhetoric and in support of Black Lives Matter. One of these individuals posted for Black Lives Matter, posted the hashtags, has called for justice for George Floyd, and posted these similar items. So I believe I found the individual, and yes, I believe they came here for this reason. They came to New York, I should say. Let's read the story, and, and we'll break this down. They say, two Ohio men are arrested for driving to New York. I read that. Okay. Police in New York have thanked protesters who alerted them to an Ohio registered car, which was found to be full of weapons. Officers said they were tipped off by demonstrators in Brooklyn, who on Thursday saw a man waving a machete near a car with Ohio plates. When police searched the car, they found knives, bricks, point to point radios, gas masks, and gasoline all types of different things that you won't bring to a peaceful protest, said Captain Melody Robinson, 84th Precinct Executive Officer. Full stop, man. Spot on. This is why I'm saying the peaceful protesters, they exist. Let's not let's not allow the insane revolutionary types to besmirch what is basically, and I mean this with all due respect, a boring march right now. Look, look, right now in Philadelphia, there are thousands of people protesting the way it's supposed to be. I am proud of America at this moment. I hope things remain calm because it's really, really cool to see a lot of people standing up for what they believe in. And that's it. Now, mind you, I am upset with the establishment over COVID and all that stuff. And apparently it doesn't matter anymore. But look, the protests for reopening were we should have been allowed and were legit. So yeah, you want to rag on those people for their double standards, do it to it 100%. But I, I like peaceful protests, man. I think the state, the, the, the people protesting the stay home orders, you're allowed to do it. Do it safely. I think the people protesting right now, you're allowed to do it, do it safely. After everything we've seen over the past week, I'm really, really glad that right now, as as I'm recording this, everything looks calm and I really do think it will remain calm. I am kind of worried. Let's hope it doesn't devolve. You know what, man? By the time you're watching this, it's probably just like all bedlam and like there's fires. I hope not because of these people, because there are lunatics who seek to instigate and exploit. Now, this dude, You can look up his history. You can probably find him. I'm not going to get too much into those details. Really does seem like he's posted. uh, It is confusing. I looked him up and I want to I don't want to give away too much personal details because if you want to look him up, you can do it. But, you know, at first glance, it seems like he's not your typical Black Lives Matter activists. He's a white dude, seems to have been involved potentially in the military or whatever, but he's posting for George Floyd, calling these people our protesters and talking about, you know, fighting against the police and things like that. It seems to be that this is one of those people who may have been giving weapons out. We've seen all the stories about the pallets of bricks. I think it's fair to point out some of those pallets were explained away. In my experience, I've not seen anything like this, where on the protest route, you have bricks set up, except for when activists do it on purpose. Here we can see a dude. Look at this guy. Look look what he brought, man. 
machete, a bunch of knives, screwdrivers, what looks like a trowel tip, I guess. I don't know, some kind of uh, a gardening hoe, a radio, cameras, rope. I don't know what this guy was planning, man, but he brought gasoline with him. All right. They got a picture of his car. They say his name is Aaron Evanshine from Columbus, Ohio, and Brian Contreras from Queens were arrested and charged with weapons possession. Captain Robinson praised the demonstrators rallying in New York to protest against the uh, George, uh, protest against the killing of George Floyd for their vigilance. They said this is not right. Something's wrong with this picture. Robinson said officers quickly tracked down the car and approached the driver and his passenger who surrendered without incident. Instigators are trying to determine whether the two men took part in any of this week's demonstrations or whether they played a role in orchestrating the violence that gripped New York City for five straight nights. In particular, officers want to know whether they participated in any of the attacks that injured members of the NYPD. Based on what I looked into, it would seem like these guys did participate in protests. Makes sense considering protesters are the ones who reported them. If they weren't at the protests, how would the protests report them? So I think you get it. They are peaceful protesters. They're cool people. We saw them, right, in in, uh, in DC. I think it was DC where they grabbed the Antifa guy. Much respect. I may not agree with may not agree with your ideology, but I will defend to the death your right to speak your mind. Just so long as you keep calling out these people and stopping this from happening, I respect this. They say, "quote I commend the peaceful protesters that actually saw something and they said something. You know, we need more of that in the city so we can come together as one." They definitely saved lives. I I would say so based on what I saw, man. I really, really would. News of the arrests of the pair came as two NYPD officers were suspended without pay after one was filmed violently throwing a female protester to the ground and the other was seen pulling a man's mask down to pepper spray him. Police Commissioner Dermot Shea announced the suspensions on Friday, saying both cases have been referred for disciplinary action. Neither of the officers were identified. It comes amid uh, mounting criticism of the NYPD. I'm I'm not here to, to talk about the criticism of the NYPD. Look, man, I got my problems with the NYPD. All right. I think there are a lot of issues in New York City. They've been arrested. There was, there's one viral video where they arrested some like delivery guy. But I'll tell you what, right now, this is a good example of what the police are for. Did the police catch these guys? Technically, yes. It was the protesters who tipped them off. Now, think about that for two seconds, please. The protesters called the police and the police stopped these guys. All right. You got bad cops, man. You got bad actors. You got extremist crazy people. But what happens? There's another viral video, right? Some some SUV is driving and these these riders throw garbage at it. Now, it's the lowest level I could call, you know, to which I could call them rioters, but they're not protesters when throwing stuff at cars. They throw at this car. The guy pulls over and the people are like, call the police, man. Call the police. It's like, are you, are you kidding me? You just threw garbage at He jumps out with some like wrist blade attachment. He's like, you want to throw trash at my car? And he's like, charging at the kids. I call them kids because they're like young adults and they're yelling, call the police. All right, man. Now you get it. You will regret it when you disband the police. You will regret it. Now, now there's, there's, there's conversations we have about, you know, solutions and alternatives or something like that. But a lot of really good points I see were brought up in response to these arguments. This is why I'm very careful to say, I, 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 see, I hear the idea. I think there's something about bolstering the Second Amendment. Some people have easily, easily pointed out, oh yeah, great. When gang members are guarding their own neighborhoods, I'll remember to call my, you know, like call my friends, do something about it. No, it's never going to happen. You need some kind of unifying presence. That's what police do. I'm not saying what they do is perfect and maybe we can fix it. But for now, listen, man, what if they disband the police and they see this? Who are you going to call? You're going to call your neighborhood watch or something. You can call the police and they can handle the administrative work. But in this instance, this is why we have cops, man. These two guys, they really do seem nuts. And we don't want it. We don't want it, man. The peaceful protesters don't want it. And we don't want it either. Don't let them take over your, your, your events because of their stupid communist or whatever ideology. Now, these guys don't appear to be boogaloo boys or whatever. Those are the people who are not, they, the media calls them far right. That's not fair. Uh, from what I understand is there's no real movement. There's no people who call themselves this. The people who have come out and have been identified are usually just libertarians, you know, anti-establishment, anti-government types. But when you see this stuff, knives, ropes, gas, or whatever, these are the crazies that nobody wants. And I, and I hope things don't escalate to a dangerous point, but they are. The ideology is getting pervasive. And now, now, now I'm going to be fair. I'm going to be fair. Look, I can praise the peaceful protesters all day and night, but you got to understand 
that it takes only a spark for the peaceful protest to become an avalanche. And then these people start beating on random strangers, attacking people, and the, peace, the police bend over backwards, even violating your rights to appease the mob. That's the next story I have for you. An independent journalist was out filming and the mob attacked him. So the police arrested him. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? That's how things work. Over on TikTok, there were people who were being harassed for being, you know, fat or whatever. So the company banned the, the, peop- the, the victims. You know why? Why ban 300 bullies when you can ban one victim and the bullying stops? Then you can keep your users. That's exactly what we're going to see on the streets. And I'm going to bring that story to you coming up in just a few minutes. So stick around and I will see you all shortly.